Wait, oh no, what's happening? Oh no, I was going too fast. I hit the wrong one right there. Oh. Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily play Minesweeper for free using Google. So just head on over to Google search and then search for Minesweeper. Now when you look at the search results, instead of clicking to actually go to a website, and there's a bunch of places you can play Minesweeper by the way, you could click on any of those and you could play, uh, there's actually this option to play right in Google. So we can just click on the blue play button. And if you're new to Minesweeper, don't worry, I've got you covered. I've actually played quite a bit, especially back in the 90s growing up, so I'll show you how to play. First of all, I'm just going to use the Command and Plus or Control and Plus if you're on Windows keyboard shortcut to zoom in in my browser a little bit. Now this version of Minesweeper, we're just going to click once to start playing. And what we're seeing here on our screen is each of these squares tells us how many bombs it's attached to. So we need to try and figure out where all of the bombs are and not blow everything up. So if we had, say, like uh, one of these was like a three, and this is only touching three squares, then we know that all three of those are bombs. But you'll notice that this piece right here touches one because diagonal counts. So one, two, three, four, five. So of these five squares that this one touches, two of them are bombs. And we don't know which one, and actually this is a tough one. There is a trick we can use. Notice that these ones that are in the inside square here, they're only touching one square. So we know that that is a bomb because it's only touching one square and we know it's touching one bomb. So we can mark all of these as bombs. Now you'll notice that uh, this one is also only touching one bomb and we've already marked the bomb. So we know that this square that it's also touching is not a bomb. And so the same goes for over here. We've already marked the bomb. We know that this isn't a bomb. And we can kind of keep going around like that. Uh, so we know that this square only touches two. We've already marked one, so we can mark the other. We know it's a bomb. This one only touches one, so we know this isn't a bomb. Ooh, wow, we have a big opening here because we already marked the bomb that this one is touching. And we can go one, two, three, and boom, a big uh, piece opened up for us. So now we can continue and go even further. So look, we know that this touches two bombs. It's already got one marked. This has to be the bomb. So that means that this isn't, and this isn't, and this isn't, and this isn't. And wow, here we go. We know that this is, this isn't. We know that this is, so that means because this is touching only one bomb, and we know this one is because this one's only touching one, and we know that boom, 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 these aren't. We know that this has to be, and so this kind of completes the set. You can see that this set it was touching three. We've got three, three. These two are both touching two, which means boom, boom. This one's only touching one, which means boom. So you notice that we can just keep going and keep going. And I will, uh, maybe I'll complete this game here and then I will uh, fast forward so you can see the completed result. Ooh, and looks like I made a mistake. I marked this one as a two because I was thinking that this one had to touch two. And you'll notice that it was already touching too. So I should have opened that up and I failed. So I'm actually glad you got to see that. That's the whole game. Is And if you do it procedurally, usually you'll be able to finish. It's not like uh, it's a trick. Although sometimes, so I clicked once to open a new game pickup. Sometimes they do lay out in a way, and I don't know about this version, but in the old version, where it do, you do have to guess, especially at the beginning of the game. Uh, this one, you know, obviously not. We can start going right away here. Uh, but it, it is a fun game. It does kind of just pass the time. Uh, it doesn't stress you out too much. Uh, it gives you something to do, kind of relax. And uh, yeah, and everyone, I couldn't leave it with a loss. So I went back and this time I actually completed it. And so you can see what happens. Uh, you get to look at the time that you completed it in. So I guess it took me a little under three minutes and then you could try and beat your time. So that is the simple way to play Minesweeper here in Google. Again, you could just click on any of those websites and play other versions as well, but this is the really simple one because you play right in Google search results. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.